Hi, and welcome to another executive interview. Today, we are joined by Tim Freestone, the founder of Aloba. Aloba is on a mission to revolutionize the way companies hire data and AI professionals with their data-driven platform. Welcome, Tim. Thank you for joining me for this interview. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Amazing. Now, Tim, let's start with an overview of the current market landscape for hiring data and uh, AI professionals. So how is Aloba's data-driven approach disrupting traditional hiring practices in this industry? Yeah, absolutely. So I think the traditional hiring approach um, that's been used for decades now for data and analytics roles has kind of failed. I'd say it's kind of failed epically. Um, and this approach is typically quite a gut feel, intuition-based approach. So if you think about a typical um, role, you know, that's a company posting a job ad, reading through hundreds of CVs and trying to just guess based on what the CV says who's worth interviewing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's failed for a lot of reasons. Um, one is that uh, if you think about a CV, there's a lot of personal information on there that's mm -hmm. fundamentally irrelevant to figuring out whether or not it's the right candidate for the role. So you can get from a CV someone's gender, their ethnicity, their age, their religion. All these things that we know just don't predict whether or not the person's going to be the right person for the role and ultimately just create you know, a sense of bias and discrimination in the hiring process. So because of that, I think companies are missing out on some of their best talent when they're using this kind of CV screening approach. Um, it also is very cumbersome and time consuming. It, it drags on the hiring process. So on average, a hiring process takes 38 days to, to complete. Um, and it's also very expensive. So by having that at the start of the hiring process, it just creates all these different issues, bias, discrimination, cost, and a real blowout. And despite this process, or because of it potentially, um, companies still routinely make the wrong hire um, it's still such a common problem and bad hires cost up to 2.5 times the salary of the candidate. It's really important to make sure that you have a, a better screening process. And so basically the innovation we've introduced is to remove that kind of pure gut feel intuition approach and replace it with data. So instead of looking at someone's CV and kind of scanning through that for a few seconds to figure out who's worth interviewing, instead we say let's you know, fairly and accurately evaluate the skills of the candidate for the role. So whatever that role is, a data scientist, a data analyst, a data engineer, having an assessment customized for that, focusing on the critical skills for the role, and then based on how candidates have performed taking that test, decide who to interview. So it ends up being a much fairer process because the best candidates get the interview. Um, and you can remove all of that bias, all of that discrimination, and just focus purely on the skills of the candidate. Amazing. That's great technology, Tim. Now, it's impressive to see Aloba's high-profile customer base, including companies like uh, Agoda, Woolworths, Canva, Unilever, and Sunco Energy. So can you tell us how have these partnerships actually contributed to the company's growth and what potential do you see for further expansion in the market? Yeah, that's right. So those um, four A-grade enterprises um, spread across five industries and four continents, I think really give a strong validation and proof point that there's clear demand for our technology in the market. Um, they're companies that hire at scale in data and analytics. And so getting into those companies first was kind of natural that they will be early adopters of our new technology. Um, even within those accounts, I think there's clear room for, for progress and upsell and cross-sell into, for example, their graduate and intern hiring teams. Mm -hmm. So these are the teams that hire from universities directly. They typically deal with a similar set of problems um, in terms of you know, assessing a high volume of candidates, wanting to make sure they hire the best candidate. Um, so there's that opportunity. What we've also seen is we typically would start in the data specialist team of an organization, but then uh, we start to see demand outside of the data team. And I think that's because uh, there's this kind of core basic data literacy skill set that's becoming more and more important now. And it doesn't really, you know, it's not just confined to the data team, it's really any role, a marketer, an accountant, supply chain, anyone needs that foundational data literacy. Mm -hmm. So starting to see growth into, out, uh, into other non-data teams. Um, and also companies want to understand the skills of their own people. So we've also seen that as use cases, not necessarily looking at the candidate skills, but trying to understand, okay, within our business, where's our strengths and weaknesses? Um, how can we put in place better learning and development plans to fix some of those skills gaps? Um, and so, yeah, we've got this kind of, I'd say, small set of really A-grade businesses. And now it's just about how do we scale that to, you know, the next 500 A-grade businesses. Amazing. Very exciting. Now, uh, we have seen these days that, you know, the demand for data and AI is highly increasing. So how does Aloba position itself to meet this growing demand and capitalize on the explosive growth in the data roles market? Yeah, so I think we were early I wouldn't say adopters, early creators of this technology. We got in on this, you know, four or five years ago now. Um, prior to that, I was uh, running an analytics function at a, at a tech company here. And so I could see firsthand all the issues with, with hiring and could see 
where the future was going in terms of all these other roles outside of data really becoming data-driven roles. So we built out this technology um, that is great, the customers are happy, and we built out a lot of uh, question content as well. So using our product, you can now evaluate more than 50 different technical skills, intelligence, um, personality, softer skills as well. So it's really given this quite holistic sense of um, a candidate's capabilities. Um, and now really it's just about going, going for growth. So really trying to, trying to scale that across different industries and different, um, different domains. Brilliant. Now, Alopa's impressive matrix with 91% candidate satisfaction rating and 91% enterprise retention rate speak volumes about your platform success. So how do these matrix actually translate into a competitive advantage for Alopa? Yeah, I think hiring's a very tricky thing to get right because there's a lot of trade-offs in terms of you know trying to hire the best person but trying to hire them quickly, trying to keep all the candidates happy, not just the one you hire but the hundreds of others you don't hire. So the fact that we managed to achieve both significant happiness on the candidate side as well as the enterprise side suggests we've got kind of the balance right. Mm -hmm. um, for us, the enterprises, I think, are happy with the technology because it does what it says on the tin. That's the most common bit of feedback we get. It may not be the most flashy or exciting thing sometimes, but it does what, it, what we purport it to do. So that means it saves them time. It helps them hire the best person. It prevents those uh, wasted interviews with candidates that don't have the right skills. Um, and so they're really happy. And on the candidate side, uh, we've surveyed every candidate who's ever taken a test on our platform. So I think we have a really good sense of what they value and what's important to them. So typically candidates would be quite happy with a hiring process if they think it's fair, mm. if they think it's relevant. So they've been asked relevant questions that align to the job description um, and if they've gotten some uh, value out of it. So a critical step forward in our technology compared to the traditional approach is that every candidate gets actionable, meaningful feedback mm -hmm. as soon as they've completed an assessment. So they get their results, they get this kind of map of their strengths and weaknesses and like a kind of mini learning and development plan on where they can improve their skills next. Mm -hmm. So that's for every candidate, whether they get the job or they don't, everyone gets that. So I think that leads to candidates being quite happy with the system. Mm -hmm. And really excitingly for us is there's this kind of uh, nice loop that develops where we've had some customers who've originally been candidates. Mm -hmm. So they've gone through the candidate process with a certain company, thought, oh, this is, this is cool, this is fair, I like this. Mm -hmm. And when they've moved on to a new role and they're the hiring manager themselves, they've then adopted our technology. So I think keeping those two metrics as high as possible is just going to be critical for us in continuing our success. Amazing. Well, good luck with that. Now, Aloba's current funding round aims to scale operations and expand product offerings. So can you outline for our audience the specific areas where this capital will be invested and how it will drive the company's growth and success in the long term? Yeah. So the last four years for us has been about really understanding the problem space in a lot of detail. So I've personally had more than 500 conversations with customers, with prospects. Um, I've personally read more than 50,000 bits of feedback from candidates. And all of that has gone into developing this really um, finely tuned technology that suits the exact problem that it's, that it's solving. Mm -hmm. um, and from these set of enterprise customers we've gotten, we've also understood and learned a lot from them. So this funding round is really now to capitalize on that really strong foundational base that we've built over the last four years. Mm -hmm. And so the bulk of the funds will go into building out our go-to market team. So prior to now, basically the entire sales function and marketing function has been founder-led sales, mm -hmm. um, uh, which is great, I think, in the early days and really getting to, to grips with the, the customers and what they're after. Now we're putting in place that go-to market team to scale it. So that is basically your um, prospectors going out and getting, getting the meetings, um, the sales development reps to close the meetings, and then also the account managers to keep the enterprise customers happy. So a lot of it's gonna go into the sales and marketing team, creating our first marketing budget. So we've never done marketing before. Um, all the sales have been again generated through founder-led sales or word of mouth. So establishing a marketing budget, um, expanding out our question content. So at the moment we can cover a certain number of roles within a business. Um, to be able to cover more roles, we just need to add more question content. So that's engaging with more experts to write more content um, so that we can cover more roles within a business which then means we can generate more revenue per customer. So that's where we're gonna uh, focus the bulk of the money. And of course, doubling down on the technology, like the tech is great, the product mm -hmm. great, but there's always improvements we can make. A um, Couple of areas to highlight for us is really um, user experience, so making sure it's as, as frictionless as possible, mm -hmm. making sure the customers can just start using it as easily as possible. Um, our technology is quite customizable, which uh, is fantastic, but also we need to have that kind of simplified layer on top so that anyone can get up to speed on using the technology easily. So we'll also invest a bit of funds there. 
Amazing. Now, as a parting question, Tim, um, we can see that, you know, Aloba has ambitious plans for the future. But can you also share with us your vision for Aloba and how you plan to maintain a leadership position in the data roles recruitment market? Yep. So our vision is uh, crystal clear. So we want to create a world where everyone can get the job they deserve. And I'm sure you can appreciate we're a long way from that world at the moment. So there's a lot of work cut out for us. Yeah. Um, I think we've made a dent in that problem uh, in terms of how we've created this you know, much fairer way of hiring, this uh, merit meritocratic way of hiring that's focused on data and has removed all the bias. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a really good foothold. And now we need to make sure that as many companies in the world can ask access this technology and use it to improve their hiring process. Um, I think the fact that we were focused on data and AI skills from day one gives us a really strong position. We're really the only pure player in the market. That's just what we do. It's just that niche. Um, and now, excitingly for us, is that niche is, is going to expand, I think, exponentially over the next few years with the maturation of technologies like um, ChatGPT. Mm -hmm. I think now pretty much anyone in a business is going to have, have to have that foundational skill set to use those technologies. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think we're uniquely positioned to really capitalize on that. Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Tim, for sharing valuable insights about the work that you and your team are doing with Aloba. For anyone who would like to get in touch with Tim or the team at Aloba, please see the details at the side of your screen or in the description of this video. And again, thank you, Tim, for joining me for this interview. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for having me. Thank you.